Hey guys, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Papa Snow here. All right. So, yesterday we were doing a burger episode. Didn't like how it was going too well. So today I decided to do it back a little bit. And of course, I'm to today. Right? Just to be safe. Right? Today we're going to do back some hamburgers. I have to do some hamburgers for Xander. Uh, Xander saw the hamburgers on TV last night. And he said, Daddy... I want some burgers. Now it's been a bit of a rainy day, so we changed our barbecue spot. I'm actually under the shed in the back here right now. I've got the grill back here. I'm gonna do some nice barbecue here for you guys in a few. A little olive oil on a pan. I've got my pan heated up here. About to make some nice, wonderful burgers, all right? We never use frozen meat, okay guys? This is a solid, this is actually about six ounces of beef here. Really good. It's gonna cook down to about five ounces. Want that to sizzle up a little bit. Cook a couple burgers here, maybe about three. Right. Now, I don't have the fire too hot. If I wanted to get a lot of heat, I could just slide the griddle back, throw it over the open flame. I do like my burgers cooked on an open flame, but of course, you know, in Guyana, you don't always have that, right? Not a lot of barbecue places will do hamburgers, especially hamburgers from scratch, okay? Now, these are more like steak burgers, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I might put them over the open heat. And my pan just is not hot enough yet. So let me do that. direct heat. Plop it here for a minute. When you put it here, you do have to be careful because, of course, it's open and you don't want your meat to fall apart. But if you have a problem controlling your meat, then you can use a flat griddle on top of your barbecue grill. All right. And this here, this is going to melt up nice. It's well seasoned. Remember guys, if you need to order any burgers, barbecue, or anything like that, we are cooking every day, and we do cook to order, okay? So you can get fresh meals every day here in Guyana, and we deliver, all right? Today we actually have uh, some nice lunch specials. We got bhaji, we got your okra, we got fried fish, we got dal and rice, and on top of that, of course, we do have our grilled chicken, our barbecue chicken grilled fish for those of you who like fish right so you can get that okay you can also get your chicken and chips and your fish and chips here if you would like remember we do cook fresh to order okay which means sometimes waiting times are a little bit longer but your stuff is prepared fresh for you okay to save time and waiting you can call ahead of time and book your order come in pick up and have a good day or like I said, we can deliver it to you, all right? I hope you guys have been having a real good day today. Uh, it has been a little rainy, so weather's had people under. For me, like I said, I had to retreat to this other area to continue to do my grilling. Oh, you can smell that right now. Mm-hmm, you can definitely smell that, right? Light? Yeah, we doing a live. What's up? What's up? Thank you. Are you back meat now? Yeah. Too bad. Too bad. You're uh, pres Presbyterian. Yeah. Presbyterian. All right. Too bad. You're Presbyterian, man. 
but this, you don't know what you're missing. You have no clue. Well, I used to eat meat enough. You used to eat meat? Up to 19. I used to eat 19 and stuff. All right. All right. So. You're not doing too bad. Yeah. That has nothing to do with that. It has to do with that I don't like meat. I don't blame you. There are a lot of things I don't like. You can put a list of things you don't like in the description above. Let us know what's up. A lot of stuff, right? Yeah. All right, guys. So, I'm on the grill today. Personally, I'm on the grill today. You're not going to notice a whole bunch of food being cooked at one time, right? Because basically, I planned myself out pretty well. Right? But we do have a lot of other amazing food in the building. Nice. Slowly grilling this bad boy out. I'm doing this, you just want to move it a little bit, right? To ensure that it doesn't stick to the grill, okay? You don't want it to stick to the grill because this is an all meat patty, all right? And with an all meat patty, if it starts to stick to the grill like this and the juices, it Pull it up, you break up your burger. You don't want to break up your burger. You want your burger looking nice. Mm. Oh, you smelling it, Chase, huh? You smelling it back there, huh? The dog all the way back there, right? Uncle Pete, do me a favor. Let's take my cup upstairs and ask, uh, ask Lily to make me a cup of tea, please. I would greatly appreciate it. Yes, guys, midday, cup of tea, I'm that type of person. I'm a big man. Mm. Good, looking good. Xander, daddy's making one of these for you. So this is going to be made real carefully, okay? This is a daddy burger. Right? That's what you're getting today, Papa. You're getting a daddy burger. Daddy burger deluxe. By the way, if you're on the East Bank and you've never had my cooking before, and you're buying a meal, you can get a free sample of a hamburger today. For those of you who are interested in purchasing burgers, they only cost a thousand Guyana dollars. Hundred dollars extra for cheese, and you can even get bacon on your burger. For an extra 500 guy in the Yes, people, bacon is expensive in Guyana. Good quality bacon. Yeah, so this reminds me of, like the 4th of July, like those 4th of July barbecues. Watch. Which one is that? What's that? That's the fish? Yeah. Yeah, send on the fish. You grill this thing? Yeah. You want to grill fish for lunch, right? Yeah. All right, good. So, okay, well, this can't go on the grill yet. This is gonna have to get to the right temp. Stick this, stick this back in the cooler, please. Let this get to the right temp. Wait, or, or since you want fish, why don't you take some of the, uh, the dal and rice bhaji and fry fish? Yeah, yeah, save my grilled fish. Save my grilled fish. Do the dollar rice and bhaji. The deep fried fish. Watch. When, when some fried fish, when some fresh fish come out there, set the side two pieces for me, right? I wanna, I'm gonna eat a burger, but I'm gonna snack on that stuff later, right? Just have that set aside. That sounds like something good for my dinner. See, this is where you gotta be careful, guys. All meat patty, right? You turn this bad boy wrong, you break him up, okay? So you can actually flip him there and do it like that. It's much easier for you, right? Flip him here. Yeah, you don't wanna lose your meat. Yeah, it's smelling good, right? So yeah, it's looking good too. It's looking real good. I'm just not doing the fire too high right now because sometimes it's, especially here being a lower ceiling, that'll be too much heat for me. 
nobody can't watch the show. All right, for those of you who like beef, right? Oh, and in case you're wondering, we do have different grills that we use for different, got about eight of these big grills, right? So letting you know, this happens to be the beef grill here, right? So in case you're wondering. It's mm. looking real good, you know. Real, real good. I guess this is probably the, the hardest part for me. It's the waiting. It's the waiting. Huh? Bango. Yeah, let him do the bango as he fries it. Yeah, don't do the butter fish. The butter fish is something different. The trout for something different. The snapper for something different. In fact, in order to make our fish dishes cheaper for you guys, we're actually going to start doing grilled trout instead of just grilled snapper. Because when you do the grilled snapper, you know, people try to pay the price. When you want a good thing, you have to pay for a good thing, right? Remember guys, the holiday season is coming up. If for this holiday season, you don't want to do cooking on a particular day, you can call Papa Snow. Tell me what you want. I'm just not working Christmas. And we'll deliver. And at least you know, you can see all of your meals made fresh in front of you. Doesn't matter how many people you're cooking for. I got a couple more big grills like this. We can throw them out. You got 300 people. I can make you 300 burgers in a half an hour. Feed everybody. Uh, just slow roasting this beef on top of this grill. This is so good. Hey, you're gonna get one of these burgers, right? Because I promise you a burger. I promise you a burger. So one of these are yours. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's smelling delicious. But I seasoned it really well, right? It smells weird. Mm-hmm. You hear the police and I'll come in for burgers right now? Let me see the fish. Mm. See guys? Fish. Fresh fish. Right? Alright. Send this up there. Let them parcel it off. Season my parcel with water stuff. wants a burger so in a few more moments I'll start to toast my buns and then of course I have my condiments I have a little bit of everything behind me make sure you know if you're gonna be grilling outside in weather like this every single thing should be covered don't play games this country you don't know what you're doing bugs when your food smell good gonna come gonna come remember guys if you want to order a burger right now let me cook it live on air for you you can call 671-9015 order your burger now and we'll have somebody deliver it to you based on where you're at delivery has a cost okay guys
Notice, I'm never smashing my burgers, right? If you do that, you ruin your burger, okay? You just lightly touch it, and there, there's a way to tell how well your burger is cooked, and I'm gonna do that for you on another video, okay? I've got a really hot area on the grill, and I've got some warmer areas. I can always control my cooking. And yes, you did hear a chicken in the background. That's how fresh our food is. You want a fresh chicken, I got George in there, and we throw him on the grill just for you. Not really George, but you know what I mean. My father would kill me if I kill his chicken. That's how chick bull. Yes, George, yes, yes, yes. It's not you going on the grill today, buddy. Not you or your family or friends. Okay, so this burger here is pretty much ready to go. Except it needs cheese. Now mind I say, I'm not cooking for anybody in particular except my son at this moment. So, we've got other burgers being cooked elsewhere, facility. Woo. Woo. This is hot. Yeah, that's very hot. All right. Love you, George. Give a round of applause for George. The red man folk. We're not gonna eat him though. Not gonna eat George. George is your boy. Can't eat him, boy, right? some craft singles today. You can't really have a nice cheeseburger without some melted cheese. Oh, gloves. Gloves. Who wants a cheeseburger? Good old fashioned American diner quality cheeseburger. All of this care goes into basically every one of our burgers, right guys? We want just a little bit of a toast, right? And uh, yesterday when I was doing this burger episode, someone was telling me about the onions, and you know what? 
And you reminded me that I did forget my onions because normally I actually like onions on my burger. And some nice, fresh, crispy onions. For those of you who have ever had a beef deli burger, you can attest to it. It's one of the best in the country. That's what I'm looking for. That is what I am looking for. All right. So we're going to keep it simple, right? Little mayo. Fatty. Onions, right? Right here. Little mustard. And yes, I don't give you the cheap ketchup. I give you the proper stuff. A lot of, there's a little bit of ketchup there. Then go ahead and build your burger. Some onions. Cucumber or pickle. Tomato. And of course, a fresh piece of lettuce in your burger. Close you off. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what you're looking at. A beautiful, fresh, American deli cheeseburger. So for those of you who want one, call 671-9015 and I will make yours fresh for you the way you like it. Thanks a lot, guys. Let me wrap up, wrap up all of this stuff here. And you're served. Still have a couple more burgers to do. And it works out pretty easy once again. You know, keep everything fresh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, for those of you who would like to order, give us a call. Let me go ahead, let me finish this stuff up, get this off the grill. I have a lot of other stuff to cook, but we're cooking fresh, live, all the time, all day long. Give us a call. Thank you guys very much. If you like this stream, please click like, share, subscribe, help me grow this channel. I really appreciate it, and we've got a lot of good food for a lot of good people. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. A lot of good people on air.